Eight-year-old Hannah Richardson has a rare genetic disorder called Nogger's syndrome, a condition that causes deformation in a child's face and limbs, as well as deafness. Until recently, that diagnosis could not have been made with 100% certainty. Her parents, Rosalind and Kevin, were naturally concerned with getting a diagnosis of Hannah's condition and learning what it would mean for her future. From the beginning, when she was um, first born, they knew that something wasn't, you know, something wasn't quite right with her because she couldn't um, breathe very well. Her, she kept on swallowing her tongue. So that's when they introduced Dr. Bernier to us in NICU, and he said that she may or may not have some type of syndrome. Um, but with lots of, you know, testing and research, we, we may or may not ever know what she has. Dr. Francois Bernier, Hannah's physician at Alberta Children's Hospital, led a team of North American researchers in identifying the gene that causes Nogger's syndrome. The discovery has enabled scientists to develop the first test for the condition. So I first met Hannah when she was just a baby and had, like many families when they were have a child born with differences, had wondered what those differences were and what the long term was going to hold for her. And so Hannah has Nogger syndrome and we were pretty sure that she had that when she was much older but never had a test for it. So as part of really an international effort to find the actual cause of Nogger syndrome, uh, we used an amazing technique called next generation sequencing. So we've actually read all of Hannah's 20,000 genes along with 20,000 genes and five or six other families from, from across Canada with Nogger syndrome and, and looked for common changes and when we found it. We found the, the cause for Nogger syndrome using this amazing technology. The discovery was a result of an international collaboration between Forge Canada and the University of Washington. Forge Canada is a national consortium of clinicians and scientists which includes Bernier's team. The researchers used next generation sequencing technology to identify genes responsible for a wide spectrum of rare pediatric disorders present in the Canadian population. The Alberta Children's Hospital Foundation is raising money for the next generation of sequencing technology. The other implications of finding these genes is you go in one direction, you understand what the gene does, so what does it do for the body, what does it do during development, could you improve that function? And then the other one is sort of understanding what happens to the kids and the families. So you all know they have the same thing now. You can help families understand how it's passed on within their family, so did it occur as a new change or what happens when kids get older and have kids. I asked, um, Dr. Bernie, if I grow up and I have kids, um, are they going to have Nogger syndrome? Are they not going to have Nogger syndrome? He said, maybe some will and some will. With this um, testing that was done and the answers that we have, we now know that, you know, this is Hannah. Like I said before, it's like Dr. Bernier wrote a story about Hannah's medical you know, future and just filled in all of the blanks. So now we can actually read the complete story. It's like it's solved. And that's what we want for other families. Since the gene was published, we've had our first request from a group out of the Netherlands to perform testing on a young baby who was born just in January to see if we can help that family understand if they do have Nogger syndrome, what the future will hold and what the pattern is in the family. People with Nogger syndrome go on to live normal lives, which was good news for Hannah and her family. We now have a group of about 40 families internationally that we're working on, including out of a Seattle group. And about half of the families have this one gene, so there's more to be found, but we're incredibly excited that we found the first one.